In New Haven, three rivers, the West, Mill, and Quinnipiac, flow through densely settled urban areas before draining into the New Haven Harbor and Long Island Sound. Large areas of impervious surface and compacted soils lead to significant overland flow of contaminated stormwater in urban, residential, commercial, and industrial neighborhoods. This can lead to issues with both flooding and water quality. Accordingly, the City of New Haven is in support of stormwater management and low impact development for multiple reasons. Green infrastructure, plants and other natural materials used to collect and retain stormwater, can promote groundwater recharge, treat stormwater on site, and improve the aesthetics of the street. It can also reduce the burden on gray infrastructure, water treatment plants, and piping infrastructure that has traditionally been used to manage stormwater. To support this work, New Haven was recently awarded a federal grant to install approximately 200 bioswales throughout the downtown area. A bioswale, similar to a rain garden, is a depressed planted area designed to take in rainwater runoff from impervious surfaces such as New Haven streets and sidewalks. As such, bioswales are located in the curb strip between the road and sidewalk and are typically adjacent to sewer drains. This allows for runoff water to flow into the bioswale instead of the sewer. Bioswales are planted with vegetation known to handle the stressors of the urban environment, drought, flooding, and road salt, and designed with the goal of diverting stormwater from entering the piped stormwater system. As rainwater runoff percolates down through a bioswale's layers of structural soil and gravel, it is effectively filtered, helping improve water quality within the surrounding watershed. Currently, New Haven's stormwater runoff is captured by aging gray infrastructure, with some sections of the city served by combined sewer water and storm pipes, a system known as a combined sewer overflow. Under normal conditions and in small storms, the mixture of stormwater and sewage in these pipes is sent to treatment plants to be cleaned. In major rain events, however, these systems overload, resulting in the diversion of polluted water into rivers and other waterways. As of 2012, New Haven emitted 257 million gallons of combined sewage carrying sediment, excess nutrients, heavy metals, and human waste through combined sewer overflows. The city of New Haven is beginning to use bioswales for stormwater collection to help manage this source of pollution. By reducing the volume of water entering gray infrastructure, bioswales relieve pressure on the system during major rainstorms, reducing the likelihood of overflow events. Bioswales also minimize flooding, improve water quality, enhance wildlife habitat, and improve the aesthetics of the street. Bioswales are built by excavating approximately 5 feet of soil, which is then backfilled with layers of crushed stone and high infiltrating soil. The curb is cut to create an inlet, allowing water to flow from the street down into the bioswale. On the end opposite the inlet, a gabion is placed. A gabion is a simple metal cage lined with geotextile or filter fabric and filled with cobble-sized rocks. The gabion functions to minimize pooling by quickly directing water through the gabion and into the crushed stone layer below. Once the bioswale has been filled and the gabion installed, fencing is constructed around its perimeter to serve as a barrier for pedestrian and vehicle traffic. The final step is to plant the bioswale's interior with a mixture of perennials and shrubs. These plants aid in stormwater retention and improve the aesthetics of the bioswale project. After construction, bioswales require regular maintenance in order to function properly. The main goal of maintenance is to restore maximum water infiltration to the bioswale. Bioswales rely on a combination of biological and physical forces to filter and infiltrate stormwater. If plants are dead or dying, their ability to perform their biological role is diminished. If sediment, leaves, or trash block the inlet, a bioswale won't be able to take in the rainwater flowing down the city street. If left unmaintained for too long, fallen leaves tend to form mats, making it very difficult for water to penetrate past the leaf litter layer into the soil below. This matting also serves to suffocate perennials planted in the bioswale. The required frequency and intensity of maintenance tasks may vary significantly between bioswales depending on the zoning, residential behavior, and drainage area. Maintenance work plans also vary by season. In summer, maintenance primarily focuses on weeding, cleaning trash, and removing sediment that can block the inlet. 
In the image to the left, sediment has built up at the inlet, and in the image to the right, sediment has been cleared from the inlet. During periods of particularly hot and dry weather, bioswales will also need supplemental watering in summer, especially in the first three years of plant establishment. During fall months, the emphasis of maintenance is on removing leaf litter and trash in order to restore infiltration. Leaves can accumulate to a depth of several feet and should be removed by a combination of raking, leaf blowing, and hand cleaning. Maintenance during the winter is minimal as there is little leaf litter or weed growth and plants are dormant, making supplemental watering unnecessary. Even so, bioswales should be inspected periodically to check for trash and sediment accumulation and ensure that fencing has not been damaged by snowplows. Adjacent residents can play an important stewardship role in helping maintain bioswales. Involving neighbors in the species selection and design process and asking for stewardship support can reduce the maintenance burden on city staff. It can also help ensure that bioswales are cleaned both frequently and regularly, improving functionality. Before undertaking any maintenance work, it is important to take necessary preparatory steps. This includes developing a work plan and gathering all needed tools and personnel. Once finished, it is important to keep a detailed log of the specific work performed in order to help guide future planning. Regular maintenance can help ensure that New Haven's green infrastructure resources continue to function effectively and efficiently. Any questions regarding bioswale maintenance can be directed to staff at the Urban Resources Initiative at uri at yale.edu.